Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We are given this triangle, triangle PTS, and a line segment QR that intersects that triangle at points Q and R. It is given that angle PQR is congruent to angle PST. So this is angle PQR here, and this is angle PST. We would like to know how long is this segment RS. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. And thanks to the art of problem solving community for this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by looking at this bigger triangle, triangle PTS. And let's detach this triangle so we can analyze it better. And then let's look at the smaller triangle here triangle PQR, and let's bring this down here also. Now, since the orientation of these two triangles are different, let's reflect this smaller triangle vertically this way. So they are now in the same orientation. Then let's put the labels. Notice now here that this side PQ is now this side here at the right because we flip this smaller triangle and then this side PR is now this side here. Now this angle S is this angle and this angle PQR is now this angle here and that is our given part here. Now from our figure angle P is congruent to itself so this angle here must be equal and we now have this statement. Since two angles of these triangles are congruent to the other two angles of the other triangle, by AA similarity, we can conclude that this bigger triangle is similar to the smaller triangle. Now, what's the implication when they are similar? The implication is their corresponding parts are proportional. Now, let's look at the measurement of the sides. Side PT is the combination of this 8 and 12, so this must be 20. Side PR is this side, it has a length of nine units. Now for this segment PS, we do not know yet the value because we know the value of PR, but we do not know the length of RS. So let's put a question mark here. And then for side PQ, side PQ here is eight units. Now since the two triangles are similar, their corresponding parts are proportional. So we can now form this proportion, 20, over side PS is equal to 9 over 8. And solving for PS, PS is equal to 160 over 9. Our goal is to find the measure of RS. We know that the length PS is 160 over 9. We know that the length of segment PR is 9. Then we cannot compute for RS because RS is the difference between side PS and the measure of side PS is 160 over 9 minus this line segment PR with a length of 9 units. And performing the subtraction, we have 160 over 9 minus 9 times 9 is 81. So 160 minus 81 is 79. Copy the denominator 9. And this value is approximately equal to 8.78 units for the measure of side RS. So this is now our final answer. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.